Hello, I'm Susan Cole and I'm thrilled to be here with glorious Sylvia Petretti, CEO of Positively UK. Sylvia, sexual pleasure, so important to many people, but so often women with HIV are left out of the discussion. Why is it important for women with HIV to think about sexual pleasure? Sexual pleasure is a really key element of a good quality of life. Sadly, we have a lot of evidence from the crime studies that all the women with HIV, like 75% of the women, all the women with HIV have problems with their libido and they are not having any pleasure of sex. It's so important to, you know, to have that physical intimacy. And I think it's important to think that pleasurable sex is not just about penetration, it's not just about, you know, being with a man. That women can have so many ways of, uh, you know, finding pleasure, pleasure in themselves. I think it's important that we talk about self-pleasure, masturbation, we talk tonight, you know, about bobs, battery operated boyfriends, very important, or girlfriends. You can operate whatever you want. But uh, what I want to say is that, you know, loving touch, intimacy, physical closeness, and just being in tune with our bodies and our physical sensation is something that needs to, to, needs to be cultivated. And women need to have space to talk about it and explore it. And I think there is so little of it. Especially for women dealing with HIV, we are told, you know, when you are diagnosed, you think like, God, am I ever going to have sex again? God, let, is everybody, anybody ever going to desire me again? Am I going to be, ever be accepted for who I am? But actually, pleasure and, a, a, you know, a good sex life is a fundamental human right. And so I think it's really, really important that all the women dealing with HIV have spaces to learn about this, to discuss, discuss this, to explore all the different ways that we can find pleasure in our lives. Wonderful. Thank you so much.